Hey everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I've got something a little different for you. It is not a tumbler. I know it looks like a tumbler. This is a spray bottle. Pretty cool, huh? We're gonna cover a spray bottle today and kind of jazz it up. And today, not vinyl, I'm using fabric. I had this fabric for a long time. I have a bunch of it actually. Let me move all this stuff I have prepared. This huge piece of fabric that I use for tumblers. And I decided today I'm going to do a spray bottle. And I'm going to do the fabric on it for the, for the little design. I've already cut it to size so it fits. It's five inches wide. And I wanted to leave some room at the top and the bottom because I want to do the tacket method for my glitter. So I'm going to set this aside because we don't need that till the end. I did have to you know, mock up a little arm for my turner because it doesn't doesn't come with a an insert small enough for this. So I kind of wrapped some stuff around this bar and then I taped it all together so it's not going to move on the turner. So sometimes you have to just, you know, make something up so, so it'll work. So I've got the tacket glue that we're going to use for the glitter. We're going to lay the glitter down and I'm using holographic glitter. These two are available. I will link them below. I have plenty in stock and this is a medium and a fine and it's a holographic glitter in silver but all the colors of the rainbow and they are both called Ballroom Dance Medium and Ballroom Dance Fine. If you're interested in them, you will see how gorgeous they are here in a little while. So first what we have to do, I've already sanded the surface down a little bit so everything will stick nicely and then I washed it down with alcohol. So it's nice and clean and it's ready to go. This will be next. We're going to do the fabric, so I'm just going to set it aside for now so it doesn't get anything on there. The fabric will go over the, the glitter when the glitter is done. First, we need to get the glitter on and laid down flat so we can get the holographic look. The best holographic look you can get from the glitter is when you do this method. And I take tack it over and over. It's in this little jar I keep it. I just refilled my thing because I was empty. 50% glue to 50% water. Mix it real good until it's nice and liquidy. Then you're gonna take a brush, any brush that you have. You don't have to have this kind of brush. This one has glitter all over it. Of course it does. It wouldn't be mine if it didn't. You guys, I just have to take a moment and say, all of you that order from me, whether it be molds or glitter or whatever, you're going to have glitter on you're going to have a piece of glitter, at least one piece of glitter on whatever you get from me. It's not because I want to. It's because it's almost impossible. When you're packaging glitter all the time and you're packaging molds all the time, they kind of get together. So I apologize. And sometimes even glitter like this one is mine. Glitter, this is not embedded. But every once in a while, people will be like, oh, I thought the glitter was on my mold, but it was actually embedded in the silicone. Sometimes there's like a, a rogue piece of glitter. So sorry about that, guys. But it's in my name, so you have to expect it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's get back to our spray bottle. All right. So we're just going to dip our little brush into the glue. And if you don't make them all the time, you obviously don't have to make so much glue. It doesn't go bad though. I just keep it in this little container. And when I use it, or when I need it, I have it. And then I just, you know, make some more when I do. But I do make tumblers probably more often than most of you do. I'm going to spread this glue. I'm not gonna put it on the, actually I taped up the, um, what do you call those? The part where it screws on. I tape that up so it doesn't get glue or glitter on there. You're just going to evenly put this glue on. Top, bottom, and then you're gonna put it on your tumbler turner like I'm going to right now. Let it dry completely, it'll be clear. Put a second coat on. So when you see me back next, there are two coats of this glue on there and dried. It's dry and it's ready to move on. So I've got two sheets of paper here to catch my glitter so I don't waste it. Now anytime you wanna do a mixture of glitter in different cuts, you always go with the chunky one first. If they're not mixed together, go with the chunky first. It'll get set in place and then you go in and you just 
set the fine everywhere else. So I don't need much because I'm only doing the bottom and the top. But because I put glue all over the whole thing, I'm going to do the whole thing. But I'm going to do the whole thing with just the fine because I don't care much. I don't care. I'm going to be like covering it anyway. So we're just going to do the chunky at the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to go in with the fine glitter and uh, pour it all over the rest of the thing. Now I'm going to just move this out of the way. I'm going to move this paper. I will save this and put it back in my jar. But for now, I'm going to just pour this all over the rest of this, whatever you call it, a spray bottle. Yeah, a spray bottle. I almost called it a tumbler. It's basically the same concept, different size. Don't forget your bottoms. And then once we get it all poured on, we're gonna go ahead and flatten it down so we can get the look we're going for with this tacking method. I'm just gonna set this aside for a moment. Save my glitter. And then we'll catch all the excess glitter onto this paper. So let me just move this because we don't need this anymore. So you're just going to take your finger and you're going to rub it down and that's it. All you do is get it flat and you will tell the difference. I always show you guys what it looks like. That is when it's laying flat. And, oh, did I do the whole thing already? Well, you can see the top has a different look than the sides. The sides have the holographic line and the top does not. So you're just going to do it around the whole thing. I'm not too concerned about the middle. Like I said, it's gonna be covered. I am trying to be careful so I don't rip it off this hole that I've already taped it onto. Now I did not spray paint this first because it is a silver glitter. If you're using like say you're using holographic pink or red or blue or purple or whatever color you fill in the blank. Spray paint your tumbler or your spray bottle with a similar color, it doesn't have to be perfect, but a shade of whatever color you're doing. That way, if you miss a spot with glitter or glue, that spray paint will help cover that, but that portion up. Okay, so this is done. This is all flat. Now there's no more waiting. We can go ahead and get our fabric on now. I'm just going to move this out of the way and get my Mod Podge. Now you're going to take your Mod Podge, which I keep in a bottle here. It's just easier to squeeze out of a squeeze bottle. This is like a ketchup bottle from Walmart. And squeeze your Mod Podge on. Same brush. All the way around where the fabric is gonna go. And then we're gonna get our fabric on in place where we want it carefully because it doesn't move that easily. You'll just have to tear it off and redo it. Now this will dry clear. So if you get over your glitter, it doesn't matter. Make sure you're, now this already has glitter on it. There's no way for me to save it. So I'm just going to get it in place, wrap it around. I'll worry about the extra strings later. How much does it? Yeah, it covers a little bit, but not a big deal. I'm gonna go around with some washi tape around the edges, like I always do down the seam. Just make sure it's on without any wrinkles. That's the thing. Which I have wrinkles. Pull it tight. I might trim this with scissors. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I think I'm just going to let it go. 
I'm just gonna let it go over. Okay, once you have it on tight, go around it, get any bubbles out. We're gonna do this again with the Mod Podge. We're gonna go right over it. Actually, I think I will cut that off. I wasn't gonna mess with it, but because I'm gonna go over it with washi tape, it doesn't really matter if it's straight or not. Now, if you're not using any washi tape, then I suggest you get your cut perfect. That's better. A little bit better, and I want this to... Move over there, okay. So then take your Mod Podge again. Again, I don't care about the glitter. It doesn't matter. I would have glittered this up anyway, but if you do care about glitter, then you may have a problem if it's in your room, because once it gets on your fabric, you're probably not gonna get it off. Get that piece off of there, whatever that is. So just go over your entire thing. I go over my fabric two to three times before I move on to resin. And I let it dry between, between coats. So just let your glue dry. It'll be clear again. And then go over it again. It's a bubble underneath there. So I'm gonna get all my glue on before I come back. Obviously you can see how I'm doing it. I will get all my glue on and then we will move on to some resin, okay? I put two coats on this time. Usually I do three. I'm gonna see if two is enough because typically what you're trying to do is penetrate all of your fabric. If you don't penetrate the fabric with all of your glue, you're gonna look, it'll look like you have wet spots on there. It looks pretty good. I don't think that I need three coats, but I'm going to try it with just the two coats. I saw a string, let me fix that string. I don't want... A little string across my paw. Now I will put washi tape on this when I'm uh, get at least one coat on there. I'll see how it feels after one coat. If I need two coats before I do the washi tape, then I'll do two coats, but I'll let you know. Just try to look it over, just like I, I tried to. I didn't notice this little string, which is obviously stuck in the glue. Okay, so make sure your turner is turning the way that you want it to turn. Eventually, it will turn the opposite way for me. There we go. I'm using my counterculture DIY, my fast set. And this will be set quickly, quickly. I only mixed up 10 milliliters and it's very loose because it's very light. So I don't need that much on here because it's so tiny. So just put a nice coat on, get it smooth, pop your bubbles just like a tumbler, no different, except it's a little harder to work with because it's so light and it doesn't fit on my turner that well. I can't really press on it like I generally put, I put uh, resin on all my turners kind of the same. I just let the turner do the work, but because this one is a little a little too light. It's kind of hard to let it do it. So 10 I'm sure is too much because like I said, but it's too hard to mix up less than 10 milliliters. That looks pretty good. Make sure your bottom is flat and nothing's pooling like right there. I will do something with this little bit of extra. I'm just gonna grab my heat gun and pop some bubbles. Oh, somebody unplugged it. Somebody must have been using it. Now I'm gonna knock everything else over.
All right, um, yeah, I'm gonna put two coats on, I think, and then we'll do some washi tape to match. Two coats are dried on here, so it's time to go ahead and get washi tape on, but I have a couple little lifted areas, so not lifted, but bumpy. So I'm just going to take sandpaper and just scratch the surface and get those areas to go flat before I put another coat of resin on. There's one right there. So just get it even. Doesn't take much pressure. A couple indentations on this one. So we're gonna put the washi tape on and then I'm gonna put a sealer on it and that should take care of all that. It'll hold the washi tape in and it will allow the uh, resin to go into these little divoted areas like little fish eyes, but it's not a fish eye, kind of the same but different. So just wash it down, take some alcohol, and then clean it off or use soap and water, either way or both, it doesn't matter. Other than that, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to put this tape down the seam and around the bottom and the top. And I found a red that goes pretty well with it. I'm just gonna find the back so I could start there right here. bottom seam. Just gonna put that here so I don't get dust all over it. Although, I mean, the seam isn't that horrible, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I guess you could do it in black so it doesn't stand out, but it's just for me anyway. It's no big deal. All right, I'm just gonna wipe it down one more time. You don't want any dust floating in your resin. And we will go over there and get some sealer on it. This is the sealer that I use. It's Quick Coat Urethane Sealer and it's by Counterculture DIY. And I'm just going to cover it as if I was covering it with resin. And it's basically going to hold in all this washi tape. It's going to cover up those little divots, give the resin something to stick to. This stuff seems to work really well. Well, it does anyway because maybe it was made to use with their, their resin because I do use their resin as well. So they kind of work really well together. I never have problems if I seal my tumblers and then use their resin. I rarely get fish eyes, if ever, with, with these two products. Especially on um, vinyl. Vinyl does fish eyes very easily because of the glossy finish. <clears throat> so you want to always seal your vinyl in.
this doesn't take that long to dry, maybe 20 minutes. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting all my resin on and I will come back to clean it up with you and show you the end result. I hope you liked it. Something different anyway, a little different idea than tumblers or whatever else. Okay, that looks pretty even. All right, be right back. All right, it's done. I just took the arm off and took all the tape off. I'm wiping it down with some alcohol. Wash it with soap and water. And there's really nothing to trim along the top because I had it all taped up. And this is how I taped up my, I just put a little like non-stick piece, shoved it inside and then taped around the edge. So that's how I did this one. There's a little bit of tape that got resin to it. So just cut that off if you have any. I hope you guys try to decide to, or decide to try it one of these days. So you're just gonna stick that in and you have a little spray bottle. What do you think? You can put names on it or whatever you wanna do. But that is today's project, you guys. Thanks for coming in today. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys all have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow. Here's a couple pictures.